It's 12.26 p.m. on December 29th. This is my Mobius strip. It's a three-flip Mobius strip that I've been cutting down the middle to yield, as you know, a, a loop. It has eight twists in it and an overhand knot, and it has two surfaces. I've been adding snips and letting them uh, kill the twists so it stands up. And I've been drawing knot diagrams. I've been working out knot notation, and I finally figured out what's happening. Here's a random selection of all my knot notation from some of my other examples. It looks a bit chaotic, but I finally understand what's happening. The solutions come in two in two types. There are the knots that have uh, three crossings in the knot and three twists, and there's the knots that have four crossings in the knot and two twists. And we can see that in my knot notation. Here it is, uh, the three loops and the three crossings. There's always a core of over, under, over, under, over, under, and there's three other pairs of over, unders that are added into this into this core, and it gets jumbled up. Um, and in the not my notation above, I've I've highlighted where the loop is. The loop is here, here, and here. When you take those out, you get this core of over, under, over, under, over, under, and that works for all my examples. In the diagram below, uh, looking at the knots with two loops and four crossings, such as these guys here. You can see they all have two loops. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, they have an interesting core. It is always over, over, under, under, over, over, under, under, with two pairs of over, under, over, under. And when I look at my not notation, I can see where the loop is. Um, it's here and here. In this one, in, in D, it's here and here. If we look at 3B, such as 3B, we can see that the loop is here and here. They're next to each other. In my not notation, you can see the loop. It's over, under, over, under. It goes over, under, under, over. And for example, if we look at 3D more closely, here's the not notation. Here's the first loop, here's the second loop, and here's the rest of it. When we take out the loop here, if I cross it out, and here, we draw it down below, here's the core. It's um, over, under, under, over, over, under, under, over. And that's what I'm talking about here, but here we've got it a little bit frame shifted. I just gotta add that there so we can see the core. So all my knots, I figure that for the ones with, with uh, three loops, you can see the loops one, two, three. You can see the three loops here, one, two, three and one, two, three. The loop can also be inside of itself. So this loop could be inside of this loop. Maybe there's about a hundred of these, maybe about 80 of these. So we're looking at over 200 different knots for Mobius strips that we cut down the middle to yield this, to make it stand up. And so there's roughly over 200 uh, solutions. So that's my kind of revelation today. And now I'm gonna work out all the knot notation for all the knots and then develop a polynomial approximation to tell me the exact number, which is quite interesting. Wow. Finally, we understand what's happening.